Okay, everybody. Hello. Hope you are doing well. Today, in this guidance session, I am going to talk on a very important topic that is how to manage the CA studies with your college preparation. Okay. So let's say if you are part of a college and you are also balancing your college studies with CA studies. Okay. Now, different parts of India have. Uh, I can see there are different uh, methodologies in this. For example, I know there are students in South India who don't go for. Uh, any uh, kind of college because they think that CA studies, if they do, then that will help them through. And that is also the right attitude to have. You will save a lot of time. Uh, but the attitude in places in Western India is something that students generally do college with CA studies. Okay. So now if you are a part of the college and then how do you manage your CA studies or basically I'll also uh, speak about the point whether is it beneficial to go for a college along with the CA studies, yes or no. So we are going to take that point today, okay? So let's understand in relation to this crucial matter, how things will come about, okay? Let's see about this. Now, before going ahead, I would like to talk to you about the Unacademy courses which are available and how you can be a part of Unacademy and take the facilities that are available. Okay, you can watch my next special class for free. My name is Professor C.A. Karthika here on the Unacademy platform. I teach C.A. Inter Audit and Law subjects. Um, we are having an excellent facility and a lot of features which are basically given to the students, even if they're studying in the online mode. You can ask your doubts uh, via the screen share, screenshots or in writing. You can now have voice chats with educators in a live special class. You can ask your queries there. Uh, you can take live quizzes and polls and get it uh, get a real time ranking based on that and you can follow my profile and get notified whenever i am live so if you follow me on uh, an academy whenever i'm coming with a special class that is a free class you can simply join it and see the area okay you will in fact be notified if i set up a special class okay the next part is there are two subscriptions on an academy one is called as a plus subscription the other is called as an iconic subs subscription plus subscription is the basic plan okay the basic plan basic paid plan that is so in that you will get facilities access to all of india's top educators you will get live interactive classes structured courses with proper pdfs and you can get n number of tests and quizzes that are available in the iconic class however along with whatever features are there in the plus class you can get personal coaching printed books evaluated test series and discussion channels will also be open for you so you can take the benefit there if you take the plus subscription uh, the 24 months uh, per month charge is 1125 comes to total of 27000 you will get 10% off if you code use the code yashas live okay so that is a code that you can use to get a discount that is yashas live also if you get an iconic subscription here in this case, you will get 10% off on the code Yashas Live. Uh, in this case, you will have to pay 3188, that is for 12 months. Okay. But remember, you get 10% off if you type the code Yashas Live. And if you use the code Yashas Live, you will get you know facilities to all the wonderful uh, faculties who are available on Unacademy. Also, look at this that is Unacademy CA Inter Mega Combat Free Scholarship Test. If you win that, if you win that, you get a chance to win an Apple iPad mini and a lot more win prizes worth rupees one crore. Okay, worth rupees one crore if you be part of these tests. Okay, so that is all about an academy that are all the features which are here, you can avail all these facilities. Now let's start with our area. So just a second, give me a second. Okay, now how should you balance the CA studies with the college studies? Okay, how should you maintain a balance? or looking at the bigger point, should you even join a college if you're doing the CA course? Now this, I would like to explain with some examples so that you're able to understand this. Let's say that you are a student. Let's say that you are a student in this case and you are having some kind of a, uh, what do you call, um, issue with going to college and balancing your studies, okay? Then the first thing that you need to ask yourself is, should I even go to college, okay? Now here, there are a few scenarios that pump in. First, let's take scenario number one. Scenario number one. Let's say that you join a reputed college. Okay? Now, if you join a reputed college, the attendance generally will be very strict. Okay. So you'll have to ensure that you're attending the college lectures daily. Okay. And college lectures will be generally, you know, in the morning slot. So let's say you're 
attending college from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. So around 12 noon, your college will be there. Okay. This can vary from, you know, state to state in India. But generally, I'm talking on a general basis that if the college is there from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. So what happens in this case? If the CA, <clears throat> if the CA student wants to attend the college as well, the attendance is very strict. So the streets, most of the days, the students will have to attend from 7 a.m. to 12 noon, the, their college. After that, they will have to attend the lectures that is on an academy with the faculties. So whenever you attend the lectures, you will have to ensure that you are sitting for a long number of hours so that your preparation is done in a proper manner or in an organized manner. So you understand here that you have to attend the lectures properly. Okay. So here what will happen is your college studies and your lecture studies has to go side by side, has to go side by side. So if I talk about the qualities that this student basically needs, the qualities that this student basically needs will be excellent time management. Will be excellent time management. You will also need something along with the time management. You will also need your proper plan in relation to what is to be done when and when should you, how should you maintain your uh, attendance in your college. So you need with that proper discipline. That is your sleep should not be disturbed a lot because see, if you're getting up seven in the morning, it means that you have to sleep by around 12 o'clock in the night or 11 o'clock in the night. So if you're only doing that on a consistent basis, only then you will be able to crack this code. Okay. Only then you will be able to manage these two properly. And the next is no wastage. You need, you should not waste a single second. And you should ensure that the focus with college and CA studies is balanced properly because that is a college that you have joined. It's a reputed college where attendance is strict. Of course, you get a good name with the college, but the issue is that you have to balance your CA studies properly. Okay. Now, looking at this, uh, looking at the practicality of this, I think that out of all the students that I've seen, around 20% students are able to manage this very well because they have excellent discipline. They don't waste time. They manage their time properly and they ensure that things are done in a proper manner. Imagine if article ship is there, then you have to attend the college. Then you have to go for your article ship. And then also you have to, this for the CA final students. And after that, you have to attend the lectures. So that becomes a little bit of a tricky issue. And that is in relation to scenario number one. Generally, I've seen, as I told you, 20% of students who are doing this properly. Okay. Now, the next area that we see is scenario number two. Scenario number two. Now, in this case, you will have the student <clears throat> and the student is attending a college which is not that reputed, but it is just for the degree that is attending the college. That is the BCom degree or the BAF degree or whichever degree is available or is applicable to your state. Okay. So when you uh, attend a college, this is a college that does not have high reputation. So we'll assume that the attendance in this case is not strict. Okay. They are very light on in terms of attendance. Attendance is not strict. Correct. Now, when you get such a college, you understand that if the attendance is not strict, it means that you can, if it, it is possible that you may not attend some lectures, but remember, if you don't attend the lectures, you have to cover those areas in a different manner. So you have to study those areas come what may. You have to study those areas come what may. There is no running away from that. There is no running away from that. So in this case, what happens is that in this case, you have to ensure that your attendance, because it is not strict, but still you will have to study. So you have to study for both your college as well as with your CA course, as well as the CA course. Okay, but of course, because the attendance is not strict, you get some time off in the morning where you can invest in the CA course, you can study the CA course, and plus you know that side by side your degree is going to come. But the degree will not carry the name of the reputed college. Your CV will not show the name of the reputed college. So in this case, you can see here that the student in this case has to have proper discipline. That is for sure because he has to ensure that his CA study is going on properly and whatever is the requirement of the college in terms of the basic attendance, let's say 30%, 40% attendance, which is required, or let's say some project submission is there. All these times, the student should be available. The student should ensure that discipline is there and proper focus is there in relation to the CA studies. Proper focus is there in relation to the CA studies. Okay. Now, this is applicable, which I've seen this is done by around 40% of the students who go to a college which have lesser attendance or lesser attendance issues, which ensure that they are able to get the degree as well as they are doing the CA course, CA course properly. Okay. With the article ship, this becomes a very good choice for the students because they don't have to attend the college on a regular basis. Okay. Now, after this, we come to the next scenario that is scenario number three. 
now in this scenario now in this scenario the student says that okay what i'll do is i will not attend college i will not join any college i don't want to attend any college but i'll do something called as distance learning distance learning i think many students are aware about this concept that you enroll with the university and the university will give you their admit card and then you have to only go there and write the test okay so you are only going there to write whatever tests are required so that is called a distance learning now when you enroll for distance learning it means that you still have to go and give the exam you still have to study so even though you don't have to attend the college there is no tension of the college project submission and the project college work but still the student will have to still study for their course so you have to still study plus you will have to ensure that you are going for the exams so whatever semester exams or whatever unit exams are there you have to ensure that you are going for the exams okay now this is a very good choice for the student because they don't have to attend the college so they have to only focus on their exams that is the distance learning exam for bcom or for any other degree that you are seeking other than the ca course so this is a student favorite generally which i have seen and many students let's say 30% of students go for this area go for this course go for this facility because it means that they have to ensure that things are done in a proper way things are done in a proper way now 30% 20, whatever percentage i am showing here 20% 40% 30% of course this varies from state to state it varies from different parts of india like i told you in south india generally students prefer uh, not to go to college because they know that a ca degree is well enough to secure them so that is one way of thinking about it so there are different so this 30% don't look very carefully at that because this can vary okay so this is the uh, this is the main chunk in relation to distance learning part what advantages do the students get the students get excellent time they get good amount of time because there is no college pressure at all even in terms of attendance or you can say in terms of project submissions and other areas okay also in relation to along with the time the students can also get some something which i call as social time now when i say social time it means that the students can spend time with their family friends uh, they don't miss out on uh, you know um, the a uh, time that they have for you know going on some vacation or going for traveling something like that which students generally can do at that age so something that students should be able to do in my opinion so that is something that they can get time for one of the disadvantage i can say that one of the disadvantage is that the students don't enjoy the college atmosphere okay they don't know what college is because in this case they are not going to college at all so you know colleges have different festivals they have different kind of an aura you go to college you make new friends your network increases so all these experiences the students don't get in this case okay now many students can think that okay sir this can be a very big disadvantage because college life is also something that we should be able to experience in our life so that is also very true so, so it is you know perspective of the students what i am doing today is i am just giving you different scenarios okay that what are the benefits and what are the uh at disadvantages of each scenario you can then see the scenario for yourself which you feel very comfortable with and then go ahead with that choice okay that is scenario number 3 in this case okay uh let's go with the next scenario and that is scenario number 4 so let's do the scenario now in this case the student is definitely not attending college student is also not going behind the bcom degree so student says no sir i don't want to clear as a graduate in any case ugc that is your university's grant commission has already declared the ca course as a post graduation okay it's, it's it is given the same reputation as a post graduate course so you understand that sir uh, i'll do one thing i'll do the ca course in any case i'll be a pg so why should i go for this degree course so the main point here is that you see if you don't want to do the college and if you don't want to go distance learning it means that you are not going to get that degree now there are few advantages and disadvantages of this first the advantage is that you have ample time so you have ample time to prepare ample time to prepare for your subjects you have ample time to you know uh, to focus on the ca course ensure that things are going properly as i told you you have great amount of social time also you can spend a lot of time with your friends family you can travel a lot okay all these things are the advantages the biggest disadvantage in my opinion in this case is that you cannot attend the college and also the big the bigger than that is that you don't get the backup degree that is a graduation degree is not available with you okay so this is something that a student really think about that sir yes uh, in this case i'll not be attending the college you will not get the degree also and that is in my opinion some kind of disadvantage and there because there is no backup for the ca course okay 
So if the CA course, if you are giving the exams and by chance, if things are not going in your favor, then the student gets into a very muddy place in life in terms of their career and education. Okay. So that can be one of the serious things. But of course, there are students, I know many students who are, uh, you know, learning with us and who have said that, no, sir, this is the scenario I take. And I'm very sure that if I give proper focus to the CA coaching, CA education, I'll be able to clear the exam. So it is possible that students can overcome that too. Okay. At the end, the student here, in this case, when they don't get the degree, the main disadvantage, like I told you, the backup is not there. The backup is not there. Okay. Now, there is a scenario for this is where uh, students can say that, okay, sir, I'll only study, focus on the CA course. The best advantage is that your focus on the CA course is tremendous and that gives you a very good chance of clearing in the first attempt. But of course, there are other things that come with that. You have to study well, you have to learn well, you have to choose the right mentors, right faculties so that you are learning in a proper manner. And an academy, of course, is available to ensure that uh, you are getting the right kind of guidance. Okay. This is in relation to the college and the uh, with the CA studies part. Now, coming to the next point, if you are attending college, let's say you are attending college, then how do you deal with this? Okay, so if you are attending college, then sir, how should I manage my time? Because if I attend college and let's say my article ship also starts, then I have my college also, then how should I go about it? Then you have to ensure that you are sticking by a schedule for at least two years. That is maybe I think in your, uh, when you are in your 14th standard, that is called second year of BCom or when you are in a 15th standard, that is your third year of BCom. At that time, you have to ensure that you are giving proper, proper time in relation to these areas. So let's see that if you're attending college, then morning 7 a.m. to 12 noon is your college timing that is going on. Okay, let's say that uh, in some colleges, sometimes it is there at 11, so let me take it as 10.30 or 11. 10 30 a.m. or you attend only till 10 30 and the other lectures you are not attending so you are taking a risk with that okay then 11 a.m to let's say 7 p.m you are going for your article sheet okay now i know that in some cities in india the article ship is very strict with the timing they you have to come on time you have to leave uh, exactly they leave you as soon as the timing is over so that's a good thing but in many other cities especially from where i am that is from mumbai uh, sometimes the time gets extended. For example, I have done my article ship with EY, that is Ernst & Young, which is a big, big four. And during our article ship, the timing was very haywire. So we had to attend, we had to be in office maybe till night, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, sometimes midnight if the work is very heavy. So sometimes internship can take a toll on your studies. Okay. So college plus internship. And then after that, as soon as you come home, you have to ensure that you are studying whatever was, whatever you are learning. So whatever you are learning, you have to study. And you have to ensure that you're on an academy watching some professor's lecture, you're learning side by side. So it means that you have to study side by side. And that has to start from, let's say, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a cyclical thing. This is something that you're going to do again and again and again and again for around two years of your life. And this has to be done properly. Only then you will have proper attendance in college. Your article ship, you will be able to learn good things. And finally, you are not leaving behind your CA final studies. If you are a CA inter student, then of course, you don't get this internship. You don't have to do this immediately. But here, in case of internship, you have to ensure that you're attending the classes, which are also very heavy. You're attending the lectures of the professors so that you are learning in a proper manner. Okay. So that is where the scenario comes in relation to for the CA inter students. Okay. So this is what we can see here in relation to attending the college, you have to ensure. Now, if you see the schedule, we can clearly uh, make out that you need to have extreme discipline. Okay, discipline is something that is an underrated quality. A person who has discipline can always fit in, in any scenario because he knows that what is required to be done, what is not required to be done. So you need to have that discipline to go for college, go for article ship, study side by side, ensure that you are you know, doing it properly and you're learning in a very proper manner. And these two years, you're utilizing the most out of it. You have to, you're utilizing the most out of it. I always, uh, in this case, give the example of a sugarcane. Okay, have you seen a uh, sugarcane juice uh, being made? What does the guy who is making the sugarcane do? What he does is he puts the sugarcane inside the machine and the sugarcane is, you know, pressed and churned. Okay. And uh, some uh, juice we get. After that, what he does is he bends that, he again puts that into the machine and you get more juice. Again, what it does, it bends more, again, gets more, again, bends more, again, more, gets more juice. 
that is what you need to do as a student to take out more time if you are attending the college okay the reason being that you have to ensure that you are going to college and that time you are you are putting yourself into the sugar cane machine and you are taking some energy out of you and after that from 11 am to 7 pm you are attending your classes or going for article ship so at that time also you have to ensure that your discipline is in place and you are learning there as well so that is the second bent of sugar cane and the third is when you have to study in the end that is the last bent that is something that a student need to you know when you are awake in the morning at 7 and when you are done at 7 sometimes the feeling can be sir now i need to rest sir enough 12 hours i have been out i am studying i am putting my effort and i am focusing on the areas sir now uh, it is enough now i am not you know looking for anything else so but at that time you have to push yourself and then study for two more hours two more hours and this has to continue for two years the fruit that you get is a uh, case of scenario 2 or in the case of scenario 1 where you are ensuring that you are getting the degree from a reputed college or in this case a degree and you are ensuring that you are doing your ca course also side by side and completing the ca course also okay so that is in relation to this area okay i hope this has been very very useful for you in terms of uh, understanding what is required to be done if you are managing your ca studies with college what i would like to tell you all is i would like to i will request you all to give us more suggestions give us more suggestions more suggestions in relation to your problems okay as a student as a ca student what are problems you are facing please let us know uh tell us the areas that you want us to make videos on something that can really help you in your uh, career or it can help you in your ca studies one of the suggestions in one of the videos was sir can you please make a video on whether whether to go for a mid size or a big firm or a small firm article ship so in that let me see if we can bring in some more people and we can have a discussion with them one on one discussion with them and maybe uh, let's say we can have a podcast or something where we can introduce them and have this matter solved so that the students get an idea regarding whether to go for a uh, whether to go for a small size a mid size or a big firm for their article ship any other problems any other issues any other uh, matter that you feel that we should discuss please put it in the chat area below i want to create a community where you can you are able to communicate with us very simple very simply and in a very you know um, as students you are taking mentorship from us and we are solving your issues so that you grow in your career, career and it is advantages to you okay so ensure that you are doing this properly okay one last thing a very big thanks to you for watching this video and ensure that you are giving us suggestions and you are connected with us if you want to look at more of my videos if you want to be a part of the live videos that i take please ensure that you are going to an academy uh, in that you can follow me and for free whenever i take the free sessions you can come and attend the sessions and that is free sessions are basically called as special classes so you can come and attend the special classes this will not cost you a single buck you can attend the special classes so that you can learn more from us okay special classes when i take it is not only in relation to uh, your uh, topics or the chapters it is also in relation to the general topics which i just took today which can help the ca students grow in their career okay we also cover lot of amendments we also cover lot of the other areas that is that will be helpful for the students rtp questions are solved past examination questions are done we just completed a session that covers a uh, chapter wise uh, audit mcqs so we did audit mcqs chapter wise also we did us uh, we are going to do a session right now in october where we are going to see past examination questions of ca inter law okay so i am the faculty for ca inter law and audit you can get connected with me through an academy and you can post your comments in the chat area below i wish you all the very best it was great to tell you all all these areas if you have any queries in, in relation to this topic please do let us know okay i wish you all the best bye see you